six cores, eight cores, 40 cores. Okay, well maybe not the last one, but high CPU core counts are a major selling point for computers and even other electronics these days, whether you're shopping online or talking to a worker bee at your local big box store. And the idea behind it is simple. Higher core counts suggest more power, kind of like impressive looking horsepower numbers on a car. But is this always the case? Well, if you, like many Tech Quickie viewers, are a PC gamer, you've probably seen advice around the web or from friends that super high-end CPUs with many cores or hyper-threading on something like a Core i7 won't help you much, if at all, in games. But why is that? With the demand that current titles put on the hardware, why are people averse to spending more on a more powerful CPU? Well, the answer lies in a concept called parallelization, which means splitting a program's workload across multiple processing cores so a computer can work on two different parts of the same load at the same time. For example, let's say you want to know what 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 is. A single core CPU would first multiply 5 times 4 to get 20, then multiply that times 3 to get 60, and so on and so forth. However, a dual core CPU could assign 5 times 4 to one core and 3 times 2 to the other, solve both problems at the same time, and multiply the results together, effectively saving time. Since it doesn't matter what order you execute the instructions in, since you're just telling the CPU to multiply numbers, this math problem is easy to parallelize. Now, although this is a painfully simple example, it does illustrate how certain programs can take advantage of multiple CPU cores because they require lots of number crunching that can be easily split up. Applications for video editing, encryption, file compression, and even scientific research such as weather modeling do lots of calculations that can be parallelized easily. Also, computer GPUs are designed for parallel computing, since the same idea holds true for rendering 3D graphics in a game. So you can learn more about that in this video. But Linus, if my graphics card is designed for parallel processing, why shouldn't I also be getting a CPU with tons of cores? Well, the thing is that your GPU often doesn't handle much else other than pushing out frames to your monitor. Other important aspects of games, such as artificial intelligence, responding to inputs, and telling the GPU what to render, are still handled by the CPU. Because of the complexity involved in processing things like AI and other forms of game logic, and the fact that many of these code instructions for these types of things must be done in a specific order or in reaction to the gamer, they're much harder for programmers to parallelize and split the workload, especially as many current game engines aren't designed from the ground up to take advantage of multiple cores. That said though, your mileage may vary depending on what game you're playing. Some games, due to variations in the processes the CPU is handling, are more CPU bound than others and can benefit slightly from additional cores. And since getting games to take advantage of lots of cores is a bit of an unsolved problem in the industry, work is ongoing to try to figure out how to make higher end games easier to parallelize, which could ultimately result in cooler, more immersive experiences. But for now, if you're just using your PC to game, getting anything above, I'd say about a four core, is probably overkill, and you're better off focusing your resources on, well, getting cores that perform well individually for one thing, and on other components of your system. Speaking of individual performance, do you wish your internet connection could perform better? Well, TunnelBear VPN is not the solution to that. No, a VPN does not make your internet faster. But what it does do is it makes it so that you can tunnel your internet to a different country, up to 20 different ones with TunnelBear, and use online services and websites as though you are browsing 
from that country. They've got easy to use apps for iOS, Android, PC, and Mac, as well as a Chrome extension. And it is as simple as choosing the country that you want to be browsing from. You know, like let's say there's a content block um, on browsers from a particular region. And you're like, oh, I want to see that stuff. Boom, you click the button, TunnelBear encrypts your connection and makes it appear to all those services and websites as though you are browsing from a completely different place. And they take all the nonsense out of it. There's no port forwarding or DNS configuration or anything like that. And they've got a top rated privacy policy too. The best part though, is you can try TunnelBear VPN with 500 megabytes of free data per month, no credit card required for free at the link in the video description. And if you decide to upgrade to an unlimited data account, you can actually save 10% at tunnelbear.com slash Linus. So thanks for watching, guys. If you liked it, liked it. If you disliked it, dislike it. If you want to check out our other channels, boom, boom. Cool video on Channel Super Fun right here. Leave a comment if you have suggestions for future Fast as Possibles. John really does read them, even though I'm not sure if he replies to many of them. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and follow and all of that good stuff.